And most people understand that I, I'm uh, opposed to it because I'm in the hospitality industry. I, I do have quite a few low-wage workers and entry-level workers. Um, I feel as an industry that we're singled out for rising costs every year. There's been no proposal to raise the cost of uh, insurance companies and bankers and everybody else 50% over the next three years. It does seem to uh, go after our, our industry. I asked a senator who was on this committee years ago, why do they keep singling out us? This was even before I elected, and he says, well, you can't leave. You are here. You can't pick up your restaurant and go. I was, was fairly offended by that remark, but it had a ring of truth. But Forgetting my own circumstances, there's other reasons why uh, I'm opposed to this mandated rise in costs. In my town, we have two malls. Uh, the mall, the Trumbull Mall, is the largest taxpayer in town. Um, the mall's not doing great. Uh, the brick and mortar businesses aren't doing well. The mall recently put in an application to put in hundreds, hundreds of housing units. Uh, which is wildly unpopular in our town. But they did it just so they could stay relevant, so they could stay in business. Um, uh, the proposal was so unpopular because we felt that there would be an exploding uh, school population. We, our schools are already full. We have a high school, one high school for the whole town with 2,300 students. It's pretty, it's pretty packed. So the community is concerned. So it's not just about my restaurants and how I feel about things. We have real consequences to my town. Um, and to brick and mortar retailers everywhere that happen to employ people that maybe are on the, the beginning end or the lower end of the, the wage spectrum. These are real costs. Because don't forget, for every dollar we raise it, 34, 36% of that is increased cost on top of that for taxes and everything else that the employer matches. And I've also heard leaders, quite frankly, this committee say they knocked on thousands of doors and, and people said they wanted to raise in the minimum wage and they run it all this other stuff. Well, I knocked on thousands of doors too. My colleagues knocked on thousands of doors. Nobody told me they wanted to rise in the middle wage. They told me, please, God, don't raise my taxes. Um, we also heard testimony that there's no measurable effect by arbitrarily raising the cost of some companies uh, to do business, and that Seattle was doing fine. Seattle's not doing fine. Seattle has the largest homeless population in the United States. When did Seattle start doing fine? The restaurant business in Seattle is the hospitality industry losing jobs ever since they passed the $15 minimum wage. Um, now granted, you could probably find a study that says something different. I got four upstairs that say things aren't going well. We've already made that argument, right? Then we heard, I heard the other day, uh, there was some lawyer up there saying how great California's doing. California? I mean, San Francisco's rampant homelessness. They're $400 billion in debt. The only thing that holds California together is it's got palm trees and good weather. I don't think we want to be like California. Um, California is also losing middle class in record numbers. Well, all right, I won't go on too much. I know you're laughing at me, but listen, we could all find selective economic data to claim that this is a good idea. But there's only one thing that ties everything together that I found, and I'm not being flip and I'm not being funny. It has to rhyme. There was no rhyme or reason for 1010 except that it sounded good. And the fight for 15, in my opinion, just sounds like a slogan. I mean. Maybe real economic data should have said it was supposed to be 1325 or 1272. Where did we come up with these numbers? I feel like I'm a victim of a, of a marketing campaign. And I tell you, I'm not looking to oppress anybody. Listen, I, I'm looking to make money for me and my family. There's no question about it. That's why I get in business. But I, I do provide opportunity for new and low-wage workers. I have some people make a lot of money. Uh, you know, listen, we run the gambit. But I feel singled out. My industry feels singled out. Uh, listen, we... we we work on historically low margins. Food cost keeps going up. You're going to pass tolls. Everything I purchase, everything I purchase to sell, every employee I have is going to come through a toll. They're going to need more money to do that on top of it. All right. Thank you, Madam Chair.